Spacers! In this video, we're going to talk about another articulation technique called the pull-off. What is a pull-off? A pull-off is just another technique for getting two notes or more out of one pluck. So I pluck once on the starting note. And then by pulling off, I get another note below it. So it's really just the opposite of a hammer-on. Remember, a hammer-on went from a lower note to a higher note on the same string. A pull-off goes from a higher note to a lower note on the same string. How do pull-offs work? You're going to press down and pluck a note just like normal. So I'm pressing with my third finger and plucking that note. But then I lift my finger out of the way so that now the note pressed by my first finger is ringing out. But I only plucked once. Now it's usually going from one finger to another, but it could also go to an open string. Why use pull-offs? Well, just like the hammer-on technique, they have a slightly different sound to them. They have a different attack. So if I play here, those notes have a different attack than if I just pluck them. Again, if I do the pull-offs, now another reason that you might want to use the pull-off is that gives your plucking hand a bit of a break. So when I do that pull off, I'm making a sound while my plucking fingers have a little extra time to get to the next string. There are a couple of keys to getting good sounding pull offs. So the first one is that the note that you're pulling off to has to be held down before you release or lift the higher finger. If that finger is not ready, it's not going to sound out. The second key to getting a good sounding pull off is to give the string a bit of a pluck with a pulling off finger. So it's a bit of a downward plucking motion. I'm exaggerating a little bit. Now, if I were to simply pick up my finger, you'd hear there's a big drop in volume between the two notes. And that's because the string is getting longer and there's not enough vibrating energy on the string to make that next note sound out as loud. So to fix that, you just give it a little bit of a pluck. And with practice, you can work on making that louder or softer just to your taste. Just like with hammer-ons, you can pull off more than one note. Similar to hammer-on notation, pull-offs are notated using the slur mark, which is an arced line that connects two or more different notes. Remember not to confuse slur marks with ties. Ties connect the same note and extend the rhythmic duration of the starting note. Slurs, like hammer-ons and pull-offs, are arced lines that are written over different notes that are slurred together. A lot of times you'll see the letter P written above or below the arced line, indicating that it's a pull-off. But you have to be careful every once in a while, the letter P means pop, which is another bass technique. In bass tab and alpha tab that I use on study bass, the same arc line is used to connect the fret numbers and note names. On study bass, I have a number of exercises and sample bass lines for you to practice your pull-off technique. You'll also find a list of songs that are good examples of the pull-off technique. Pull-offs aren't as common as hammer-ons, but they're still used quite often. So work on them. They add a lot of variety to your sound. Remember, have the next note pressed down before you lift up your finger. 
and then give the string a slight downward pluck with your pulling off finger to make up for volume drop. Thank you.